Now, first of all, let us try to understand the UVM sequence macros. Okay. Now, so this UVM sequence macros, we have the first type of macro, which is known as tick UVM underscore do. Okay. Here you can pass your sequence item. Now, what is this uh, tick UVM underscore do sequence item? Uh, this particular macro it is going to do. It is by when we call this macro, it is going to create, it is going to randomize and it is going to send, send it to the driver and send to the driver will be executed. See, so in the body task, when we are calling this tick uvm underscore do and when we are passing this sequence item, that's it. In a single line, all the three operations which we have declared previously will be happening. The first operation is nothing but creating the instance and second is randomizing the things and third is uh, it is going to send it to the driver. Okay. Now, the second macro is tick uvm underscore do underscore with and uh, here we will provide the sequence item and the second argument is a constraint. So what it is going to do, uh, it is going to create the instance and it is going to randomize also. But with randomizing, it is going to apply the constraints which we are providing as a second argument. Okay. So if we want to provide any constraints, we can provide here. Now, and the third one, this is similar to your inline constraints. This is similar as your inline constraint. Now third one tick uvm underscore do pri sequence item priority. So it is the same as uvm do but additionally the mentioned priority is considered. Okay this case we will discuss later. There will be some priority for the sequence item. This priority can be set here. Okay. And fourth one is tick uvm underscore do priority with sequence item and constraints and priority. Okay this is the same as your previous one but here we are mentioning the priority as well as constraints also. And fifth method, it is nothing but tick uvm underscore create. So this is going to create a sequence sequence item. Okay. It is going to create a sequence item. What it is going to do? It is just going to create the instance of the sequence item. That's it. It is not going to randomize and it is not going to send it to the driver. So if we are using this fifth macro, it is just going to create the instance of the sequence item. That's it. It is not going to uh, send it to the uh, send and it is not going to randomize and it is not going to send it to the driver. And the sixth macro which we have is tick uvm underscore send. What is this macro doing? Basically it is going to directly send the sequence item without creating and without randomizing it. So make sure that sequence item is created and randomized first. So if we are using this tick uvm underscore send macro then what is happening? We are not create, uh, it is, this macro is not going to check whether you have created the instance or whether you have created the randomization. No, this, the task of this macro is simple to send the trans to send the packet or to send whatever you have provided as the argument. That's it. But in the case of tick uvm underscore do, what is happening? It is going to create the instance. It is going to create, it is going to randomize it and it is going to send it. But this tick uvm underscore send, it is not going to create the instance or it is not also going to create any randomization. It is just simple, it is just simply going to send the uh, argument which you have provided to the driver. It is not going to check whether the sequence item is created or it is randomized. So we should make sure that sequence item is created and it is randomized. Now, and seventh macro which we have is uh, tick uvm underscore rand underscore send. So it is directly sends a randomized sequence item without creating it. So make sure that sequence item is created first. So using this macro, what is happening? It is not going to create the instance. Okay. It is just going to randomize the things and it is going to send the argument which we have provided. Okay. So we should make sure that uh, the instance has been created for this argument which we have provided. Next is uvm underscore rand underscore send with. So here we will apply the constraints. We can apply the constraints. And followed by ninth uh, is your priority and tenth is your same priority with your constraints. Okay, so these are the available macros which we can use. So these are the available macros which we can use for performing these three operations. Okay, just for performing these three operations inside your body task, we are using these macros. Nothing just more than that. Okay, next. So UVM, uh, tick uvm underscore do macro uh, does not invoke any pre-body and post-body. If, if you are using this uh, macros, these are not going to call your pre-body and post-body uh, 
uh, tasks okay so basically a sequence macro call is not recommended to use because it is going to take more time to execute on the simulator which results in slow simulation and uh, so this is uh, why we are not going to uh, prefer this macro okay but if you want this macro you can use if uh, the time is not a concern for you uh, the simulation time is not a concern for you you can use this macros next type of uh, um, next type of approach we can use for performing all these three operations all these three operations is methods okay so in the methods also we have two type of approaches one is using this type of methods and or or else the second approach is using start underscore item and finish underscore item so basically uh, the randomized sequence items can be driven to the driver using predefined method call present in the um sequence based class that we have already discussed that and the two approaches which we have is um sequence based methods by which sequence can send the sequence items and retrieve the responses from the driver okay so they are basically two approaches one is uh, using this set of methods or else approach based using only this two methods okay now let us try to see the approach a type of methods in the case of approach type of a methods we have the functions such as create underscore item so basically create underscore item it is a function so what is this what is the role of this create underscore item so this create underscore item it is going to create and initialize the request items or sequences and initializes using the factory so basically it is this create underscore item it is going to create the instances of our sequence item so basically this create underscore item it is going to create the instance of the sequence item okay next is wait for grant so what is this wait for grant is used to this wait for grant is it a, it is a task so this wait for grant it is a task so this task issues a request to the current sequencer and it returns when the sequencer has granted the sequence so here it is blocking method that is waits for a grant for the sequence so since it is a blocking and is going to take uh, consume some time so this is a task and what is the role of this task so if we are using this wait for grant task so basically this method it is going to wait for the approval of the sequencer so until the approval until there is any approval from the sequencer so this task it is going to block and it is going to wait so, so what is happening here so this is our sequence this is our sequencer and this is our driver so if we are using this wait underscore for underscore grant so this method will first ask the permission for the sequence this method will will ask the permission from the sequencer so if the sequencer has granted uh, the permission to the sequence then this method will be uh, returning or else this method is going to wait for the permission of the sequencer that's it that is what it is request this send underscore request it is going to uh, send the data items to the driver via the sequencer so previously what was happening previously using this wait for grant we were waiting for the permission from the sequencer whether to uh, whether we we are basically waiting for the permission from the sequencer now after getting the permission if we use this method if we want to send the data to the driver via the sequencer we can use another method which is known as send underscore request so using this method we are basically uh, passing using this method we are basically passing the data items which are being randomized uh, to the driver via the sequencer and if the re-randomize is equal to one then the item will be re-randomized before the send before it is being sent to the driver okay so by default it will be equal to zero okay so first what we are doing we are basically creating the instance of the sequence item next what are we doing we are waiting for the grant from the sequencer and after getting the grant from the sequencer we can use this send underscore request for sending the data item to the driver via the sequencer now yes so what are all the steps which we have so one is create a sequence item uh, using uh, create method and after that we are waiting for the grant from the sequencer and followed by uh, after that we after that we have got the grant we are basically randomizing the data and after randomizing the data we are sending it to the driver via the sequencer using this method which is known as send underscore request and after that we are waiting for the response from the driver using wait underscore for underscore item underscore done and after that we are waiting for this method wait underscore for underscore item underscore done and also we can use this method which is known as get underscore response underscore rsp 
So if we want to get the response from the driver, we can use this method. So these are the six steps which we are going to follow. And followed by another task which is known as wait, wait underscore for underscore item underscore done. So basically this task, it is going to block until the driver call put or item underscore done. It is an optional task. So basically in our previous session, we have discussed one method which is present in the driver which is known as item underscore done. So when we when when we are calling this item underscore done, so then uh, so this task will be released and this task will be written. So until and unless the item underscore done task is being called, so this wait underscore done is going to block. So item underscore done has been called in the driver, then this task will be returning. Okay. So if you remember in our previous sessions, if you have watched, if you haven't watched our previous session on the UM driver. Please watch that. So there we are using item underscore done and we have told that this item underscore done and we have discussed about that item underscore done. So yes, so this is about your uh, predefined methods. So what are the methods which we have declared uh, discussed is sequence item. How we are going to create the sequence item? We can use this create method for you uh, for creating the sequence uh, instances of the sequence item. And we are using this wait for grant method for getting the uh, grant from the sequencer and we are randomizing the sequence item and we are basically send underscore request. So we are the fourth step we are using is send underscore request of REQ. Okay. And we are passing this and we are waiting for wait underscore item underscore done and we are using get underscore response RSP. Next. Now also we can use approach B in the case of approach B we are using the start underscore item and finish underscore item. So the start underscore item and finish underscore item tasks are also defined in the UM sequence based class and this both methods are going to initiate the operation of sequence item. Okay. So basically there should be no delay between these two tasks start underscore item and finish underscore item. So what is this start underscore item and finish underscore item? So the start underscore item it is going to block until the sequencer grants the sequence and sequence item is access to, access to the driver. So basically the start underscore item it is going it is a task which is going to be blocked until the uh, until the sequ until the sequence is going to get the grant from the sequencer and after that the data has been sent to the driver. Okay. So basically uh, it is waiting for the grant from the sequencer and also it is waiting for the data to be reached to the driver. Okay. Next is finish underscore item. So it is going to block. Uh, it, it blocks the driver until it finishes the transfer protocol from for the sequence item. So basically this finish underscore item it is going to block for the driver. So what are the steps here? So here we are going to first create the sequence item using the create method that is common and we are going to use the start underscore item of REQ that is here we are waiting for the grant and we are randomizing the sequence item and we are passing it finish underscore item of REQ. We are passing it to the driver using this finish underscore item of REQ. So this approach B is also same as approach A and the start underscore item of REQ is going to call internally uh, the wait underscore grant method to get the grant from the sequencer. Okay. And the finish underscore item is uh, going to call the method send underscore request in, uh, internally. So if we are using this method finish underscore REQ, we are passing the data To the driver. How we are passing the data to the driver? This finish underscore item is being internally calling the send underscore request method. So internally it is calling the send underscore request method and this is passing this method and the send underscore request uh, already we have seen previously and it is also calling this wait underscore item underscore done method. Okay. So hence the start underscore item and finish underscore item are acting as a wrapper methods over them. So this is how we are passing the data from the sequence to the sequencer. So these are all the methods which we can use. One is macros which we can use. So one is one is macro method which we can use. Uh, one is macro method which we can use and another is uh, your built-in methods where we have two type of approaches which we can use. Approach A we can use or else approach B also we can use. And all we have only three steps to be performed. One is creating the instance and another is randomizing the data and sending it to the driver via the sequencer. For this we are doing all this. Now 
so there there will be one more question here that the sequence it is a stand alone class the sequence it is a stand alone class and the sequencer it is a component that is it is involved in a test bench hierarchy okay now how the sequence it is going to know where the sequencer is located in the hierarchy test bench hierarchy okay this this is my question so sequence it is a stand alone class okay it is not involved in the test bench hierarchy whereas your sequencer it is a uh, it is involved in a test bench hierarchy okay now how the sequence it is going to know where the sequencer is located okay so that we are going to discuss in next session okay we are going to see how the sequence it is uh, it is able to know where the sequencer exactly located in the test bench hierarchy and how the sequence it is sending this uh, data items to the sequencer okay what is happening okay that we are going to discuss in our upcoming session so that's all about this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about vrc thank you for watching this video